time you dine at Dats, you are sure to find something new, and that includes even when they're in studio. We're like, all right, what's new today? What's next? What's next? Well, they are changing things up again. Chef Zach West is back with us in the kitchen to show off some new menu items. And when we're talking about Dats, that always means indulging in oh, new <laughs> items as well. That is no joke. That is no joke. <laughs> um, we're getting a little crazy today. Um, if it's not... Crazy, it's not Datsy. Okay, right? so <laughs> I like that. That's definitely what Datsy? we're all about. Yes, Datsy. Datsy. That is the word tossed around the office here and there. For today, uh, we're rocking uh, something a little strange. Um, we got rid of our hot dogs on the last menu change. Oh, no. I know. I know. You did I know. not tell me that, otherwise you might not have been allowed in. There was almost some Molotov cocktails tossed into the building. <gasps> we had two butt. Uh, okay, so what would you replace it with? We did replace it with something that's very similar to a hot dog. That would be our smoked Spam sandwich. Um, <laughs> this, <laughs> this is, uh, you know, it was, it was getting tossed around the office a little bit about Spam. And uh, I was a uh, college football player in Texas, and my defensive line coach was from Hawaii. And this... It's a I'm, delicacy. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Love it. Love I don't it. Know if we I've actually to, ever tried it, to be I don't honest. Think I have either. Oh, it's um, it's delicious. It's it's really really good. So you know, is what it we as do? good as a good old fashioned hot dog? Oh like this man, one that was my here. I know you have no idea. idea. Like, like that was what we had my work baby the shower there just yeah. so I could eat a dad's hot dog, <laughs> and now you're taking it away. Which I'm not the biggest meat connoisseur. Yeah. We we talk about it often on the show. But when I came in, I was like, I think that's spam, but I wasn't sure, and I didn't want to ask. So what do we do to make it? Datsy. All right, so we're making a Datsy. Uh, first things first, um, we take it, rub it in a, a Korean barbecue sauce, um, a very small, uh, like kind of like barbecue rub, and okay. then we smoke it for about an hour and a half, um, about 225 oh. with a little bit of oak wood. Uh, gets a really nice flavor to it, really nice okay. color to it. And then once we go from there, we're um, cutting it in half, and we got some nice score marks on it. We're going to take a little bit of oil and we're going to sear it off now this is kind of the play on how everyone kind of loves their hot dogs i know i love it this way where it gets a little crispy gets okay a little burnt, i like that you know? yeah if it's the backyard barbecue i want that hot dog that's been on there for probably a little bit longer than it should be huh. so now i don't know a whole lot about spam like does it sear when it comes to dats is it in the can? Oh, it is in the can. Okay, so it you're literally popping the open the can, taking uh -huh. that baby out, oh, cutting yeah. it in half, and then putting it on the grill. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it is. Um, I didn't know if you could order it in, like, large quantities. Right? <laughs> no, maybe not. It would be awesome. Like a, like a five-gallon <laughs> bucket of Spam just slamming it out. never know. It, I'm just know? saying. <laughs> no, we looked into it. We looked into it. It's I just know, the normal right? size. Okay. It's, it's going to be opening size. a lot of little cans of Spam. Oh, we have a Spam can opener back <laughs> in, uh, in the dad's kitchen now. <laughs> you know, so we're looking to try to get a really nice sear on it. Got my lovely purple spatula today. Okay. It's very Datsy. Yes. You know, oh, so we got a good. nice okay. crispiness on it. You know, that way we get some really good flavor. You know, similar kind of to that burnt hot dog flavor. And you know what I like about this segment, too, is maybe this is going to spark some ideas for people at home. I know. You know, maybe they're like, you know what? Maybe we should visit Spam. Maybe they've got some Hawaiian connections. Yeah. Exactly. That, that introduced them, but uh, needed some recipe ideas. Is exactly. this the Korean sauce you were talking yes, about? The Korean yes, barbecue sauce? Korean barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. I feel uh, like you, you know, guys had wings that was in that, too, right? Yes. Is it the same kind of? Those were good. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, in it's it's too good of a barbecue sauce to only use on yeah. one thing. So, you know, we're hitting it with a little bit of this Korean barbecue glaze right on it. You know, let that caramelize up a little bit. Okay. And then we got a couple strips of bacon. You bacon know, you can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Get those a little crispy. You know, while this is cooking, I've got to ask, where'd you play football at, Chef? Um, University of Texas, El Paso, UTEP. Oh. UTEP, oh, yep. had, to get, had to get that yeah. in there. Yep. <laughs> got to plug them. Um, is this on the menu today, by the way? Like, can we go and order this today? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, in place of my hot dog. I know. <laughs> For the test. Wah, wah, I know, wah. there was almost riots. Hey, while this is cooking, can we please talk about this donut burger right here? Oh, is that yes. what that is? Favorite? Yeah, yeah, that's our double D burger. Um, you know, two patties, two different types of cheese. Um, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, and then on two dough, freshly made donuts. I mean, you can't really go wrong yeah. with that. It's kind of a play on the Luther Vandross, but way better because the Luther, you normally cut the donut in half, you know? Ah, so now you, yeah, get, you get the whole thing. Donuts. And then this sandwich right here, Chef. Uh, that is our uh, Thai's Two Fists. It's a combination of um, corned beef and pastrami, a little bit of Munster cheese, a little bit of Swiss cheese, 
and honey cut mustard. Now, okay. you ladies know about honey cut mustard. It is by far my favorite mustard of all time. We no, need to and I like yeah. mustard, so. It is fantastic. It's really sweet, and it has almost like a, um, like wasabi, like okay. nasally. Oh, is that what, do we have some kick? of that too? Um, this is, uh, well, it, it has some honey cut mustard mm. in it. This is the rum mustard for the sandwich. Okay. Uh, but it's. We're a, out of time. How are we doing, Chef? All we right, got all right, to, we got going. too busy oh, talking. Oh, no. okay, okay, so in so. the meantime, while he's wrapping up, we can do our little splurge, how you need to go visit DAS for yourself. Of course, they're located in South Tampa on McDill. There's the information. Of course, you can follow them on social networking, which Carly and I already talked about. Did I buy you enough time there? I know. Right, I'm good. I'm do good. you put the slaw in there too or no? Yes. So uh, okay. we're finishing. He's hurrying. He's hey. hurrying. A little bit of Korean barbecue. A little bit of rum mustard on the top. <laughs> All right. Purple spatula. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> And then, the and, and then the And then this slaw. is a grilled pineapple slaw. Ooh. It's got pineapple, peppers. Also bringing that Hawaiian cabbage. Yep. flavor. Oh, yeah. Chef, you're awesome. Come back anytime. Yes. We love when you're here. No problem, no problem. I love bring that ladies. mustard next time, too. All right, I will. In the meantime, <laughs> what can go wrong in a kitchen segment? Running out of time. But what could go wrong yeah. next? Well, I don't want to jinx our show, but we're going to be telling you about the 